Slam it going on. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. We, we're certainly glad to be here tonight. And I think we're already on Facebook Live. So we are going right on into uh, prayer and into Bible study. Do we have any prayer requests tonight? <laughs> Pastor. Bless everyone around us all in this universal world. God is able and he won't fail. Praise God, Mother. <laughs> Praise God for your mother, Cora. Somebody was calling Pastor, me. Yes. Pastor, um, Sister Darlene Brown, um, she uh, fell again and she broke her kneecap and a rib. Mm -hmm. So she's healing <laughs> slowly. Yeah. And she's, um, you know, I told her that we would pray for her. I gave her the uh, Zoom information. And she said to tell you hello, and she misses you. <laughs> oh, praise God. I miss her. Is, is she home? Yes. You know? Okay. Okay. We'll have to figure out a way. I'll have to figure out a way, because I know you're very busy, Elder Dooley. I'll have to figure out a way to get over and uh, see her so she can get ministered to. But uh, thank you for that. We're still going to pray. As a matter of fact, I'd I like to pray when the requests come up. So let me pray now. Now, God, in the name of Jesus, I, I put Sister yes. Darlene Brown on the altar of prayer on the altar of faith and trust. I pray for, first of all, God, your presence there in her home and your presence surrounding her. Your presence, God, and, and the presence of angels that would minister to her night and day. And then I pray for healing of her body. Even though, God, there are bones broken, you can knit bones back together and make them like they ought to be and then make the muscles around them new. And so I just pray for that miracle of healing for her. Hallelujah. Then I pray for peace in her spirit. Give her the joy of your presence, Master, and do it tonight. Since you're going to do it, God, don't make a wait. Just do it tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Any other prayer requests tonight? We still again. want to keep the Lang family in prayer. Yes, yes, we are still praying for the Lane family, Brother Lenny and Sister Michelle, uh, Mother Mother Lane, uh, powerful and great woman of God. God, be there with Mother Lane tonight and continue to touch her, her mind and her spirit. Let her, God, know your presence and uh, encourage that family tonight. Be there with them in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to continue praying for my dear friend, Reverend Kimberly Gladden. I told her I would keep her name on the prayer, prayer list. God, work a miracle in her body, the miracle of healing. She's your woman servant, God, and, and a woman of faith who works diligently for you. So work the miracle of healing. While you're doing it, God, give her peace in your presence and soon raise her up so she can be about the ministry that you've assigned to her in Jesus' name, amen. Any other prayer requests tonight? Mother Rhines would like for you to continue to pray for Cynthia. She had surgery today and she hasn't heard anything. So just pray for Cynthia. Mm -hmm. Now God, in the name of Jesus, I pray a, a, a prayer of faith for Sister Cynthia now. We don't know what, uh, oh God, happened with the surgery, how it turned out, but you do master. We pray, God, for everything to be positive, and we trust that you do so. Again, I pray the miracle of healing. I pray for the peace of your presence to be with her tonight. God, in your name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We continue to pray Pastor, for I just talked to, I'm sorry, with late getting on the line, because I was talking to Reggie. He has a torn rotary cuff. They don't know where it's coming from, but just pray for his shoulder that whatever their rotor cuff thing is. He just had hip surgery, mm -hmm. had a hip replacement. And um I remember trying they said it can't it can't be repaired, so he's getting shots, but God can do anything. So just pray for that the Lord will touch the rotary cuff on his shoulder for Reggie. Please. Yeah. Now God, I pray for, for Reggie. Pray that you would knit those bones and tendons back together, that you would strengthen those muscles around it. Hallelujah, God. Uh, even though the doctors can't uh, 
they, they can do what they can do, God, but you can do what you do best. Doctors are repairmen, but you are the creator. Whatever you made, God, you can fix. Hallelujah, God. And so touch him tonight and, and heal him. Don't just heal his body, God, but I pray now that, that Reggie would begin to remember the things that he was taught growing up in church. He grew up in a, in a saved home. He grew up with a praying mother, with a praying family, God, and, and remind him of his teachings of holiness and, and the call to sanctification. Bring him to you, God, and let him acknowledge you not only as a healer, hallelujah, but as a savior, as a keeper. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Any other prayer? Thank you. thank you for that additional prayer. Thank you, Pastor. Bless you, Mother Pat. Other prayer request? Can you pray for my grandchildren and my children, Pastor? Thank you. God, you hear the prayer of this mother and this grandmother. And I'm going to add God on to the prayers of our dear precious uh, Mother Shaw, all of our prayer, hallelujah, all of our prayers for our grandchildren and our children. Oh God, we, we don't even know what to say. We don't even know how to ask. This world is such an evil world and uh, this society, God, where there just seems to be perpetual evil, a spirit of hatred, spirit of violence, murderous spirit, spirit of killing, an angry spirit, a spirit of sick minds and devious thinking, a, a spirit God that knows nothing to do but to destroy and destroy your creation, a satanic spirit, hallelujah, that wants to grasp our children. God, this dear mother, this dear grandmother, you, you hear the prayers of a mother and a grandmother. Jesus, even when you were hanging on the cross, you looked down at your own mother there weeping over her son and, and you had compassion on your own mother. And now God have compassion on this mother. Jesus, we remind you when that mother came and, and stopped you and said, Lord, my daughter, my daughter, my daughter is grievously vexed, heal her. You said, woman, great is your faith. Your daughter is healed from this hour. Do the same thing right now, Jesus. Don't let this mother and this grandmother come to you, God, and, and send her away. She comes with faith. She comes with trust. But this is a prayer not only for her children, but for all of our children. God, we beseech you in faith tonight. We're even as the father in the ninth chapter of Mark who, who brought his son. And even when the disciples couldn't heal him, and, and he said, God, do something about my son. And you spoke. In that moment, he was healed. We come now as fathers and mothers. We come like Jairus who, who came and said, my daughter is sick and you don't even have to go speak the words and she'll be healed. Let that be the same faith now, God. Save our children. Save our grandchildren. Begin, begin to rebuke those evil minds, God. Put fences of protection around them. Let them, God, even live in a spiritual bubble so that all that Satan has planned, he can't come nigh them. Oh, God, we have no place else to turn. No place else to go but to you, Jesus. Touch now. Mm. Hear our cries. Hear not only our mourning, but hear our moaning. Hallelujah. Hear not only our grief, hear the passion of our concern. Uh, God, hear us crying tonight. We weep with those who are weeping. We mourn with those who are mourning. Oh God, those 19 children that were brutally, brutally ripped out of this life 
out of the lives of their parents. 